Uh, so, Will McGregor, if yeah. you are watching <laughs> Abu Show, please, um, I'm going to send you a letter soon. <laughs> Hello, my name is Laura and uh, welcome to The Hard Day Show. This artist creates fragmented, dissolved, abstract pieces. Her work varies both in material and technique. Give a warm welcome to Laura Benetton. <laughs> welcome to The Hard Day Show. Welcome. <laughs> so first you're going to tell everybody um, what is it exactly that you do and what is it that inspires you? Okay, I'm uh, mostly a visual artist, so I'm a kind of creator. Yep. I'm doing painting and uh, my inspiration are mostly birds and butterfly. But I try to kind of catch the movement and uh, I'm really inspired from the natural colors of butterfly, mm -hmm. especially the butterfly in the rainforest. Yep. Live with the meaning and yep. uh, don't be afraid if uh, it's going to be, you know, a life that maybe. Yeah. might end soon so there's a for this reason there's a kind of fragility um, of the butterfly mm. and the energy of the bird of the flight for me the main things are to fly and colors mm. because uh, the colors are connected with the butterfly and uh, the butterflies for me is yes they're living a life most of the time that last 14 days well let's talk a little bit about how it is to be a full-time artist yes. and being a mom yes my favorite part <laughs> uh, um okay i will lie to you if i say that uh, it's a very easy uh because it's not it's a it's a very challenging uh experience and but i want to say something to all the moms <laughs> that are watching this show at the moment especially artists um, don't give up absolutely because you can't imagine uh, how wonderful is being a mother artist so this can be really really good good point for you to start back and get mm. all your painting and canvases or uh, yeah. installation or sculpture if you are an artist there will be nothing that will stop you yeah. to do your art so please don't try to justify yourself with a lot of things it's very hard if you don't have help i want to be very realistic with you so i know that maybe most of you you can't give up or quit your daytime job mm. so you sacrifice a little bit of uh, your sleeping time <laughs> oh, yeah. so yeah when your little one go to sleep Get all your stuff, all your painting, all your sketchbook and do some work. Sorry, sorry, all the moms of the world are beautiful. But, but too many women, too many mothers are trying to hide their fear uh, from, uh, you know, doing what really they want to do. Mm. Don't procrastinate. Go, go and do it. Because I knew I had this kind of call. Mm. I knew that this was what I had to do. So all the other things were yeah, side jobs, you know, yeah. just income that helped me with the living cost. Yeah. So what has been your biggest challenge after you graduated? Trying to create a sort of continuity with my work. After you, your degree, you, you feel lost. You feel mm. like, okay, so do I have to find a full-time job? Yeah. So my challenge was try always to juggling between um, a side job and a way to keep a studio or work from home to keep con carry on mm. working 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 yeah is it worth it to go through that and be someone's assistant uh, where mm -hmm. you're helping someone else with their idea and their, their concept yes it's a uh, it's amazing because uh, you get to learn a lot of things especially when you're young that you don't know for example when i was 24 years old i didn't know that all the part of the job that artists usually do, which I do now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, which is uh, not only the creative, creative process about painting and the sculpture, but it's also like restoration, oh, yeah. <laughs> packing, yeah. presentation. So you live yes. in Venice, Istanbul, Pesaro, yes, uh, Florence, Florence, and now London. Yeah. What are the similarities and what are the differences in the art world? It's, uh, it's it's really different. It's really different. 
Um, okay, obviously it's Italy, so everything is more slow, slow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> more slow. And um, I would love to say that it's more professional than England, and I hate to say that, but it's... so Italy is more professional. Than no, England. no, the I other hate way to around. Say that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's not it's not the same. Yes, to me, London is really professional mm -hmm. in the way that when I deal with the gallery or art consultant or even clients. All the process uh, from the meeting. Yeah. So we meet, we discuss my work. Yeah. I feel that I'm really interested in my work. Yeah. And I love to listen to their opinion. Uh, when it comes to Italy, it's it's different. It's more like um, try to <laughs> arrange the price, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Try to find what's the best deal. How do you set your prices? Mm, I just noticed that. You know, when uh, I think I had my first prices were the gallery in, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And uh, they value my painting mm. on a kind of Italian standard. Mm. And then when I moved here and we're discussing the prices, they just like, they were, they were actually looking at the market and they decided yeah. and they say, and we were discussing together and say, yeah. It's this okay. is where you should, yeah. yeah this so you is, got advice yeah. from other people. Yeah, from other yeah. people, yeah, mm. definitely. Yeah. It's not easy always to find a way to <laughs> make sure that your price is not too high and not yeah. too low. And I think also that a lot depends when the artist is more established as well. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean, more established? Okay. Oh, you got recognized from a, a good gallery. Yeah and uh, you have been asked to exhibit in a solo show from the best ambitions gallery yeah. in for example london and um, you have won some of the best prizes yeah. all of these things let's say that for me establishes also mean maybe make a little bit the difference as well mm. in the art world the art market mm. so Let's talk a little bit about sort of yeah. competitions mm. and, and things like that. Yeah. How do you evaluate what you should um, pay for and maybe what you should stay away for? But um, what happened? Um, they they offer a chance to artists to get a name out there. I don't want to say don't trust this new gallery or new people, but if someone that you can't find any information in the web you clearly see they don't have a, a, a long term <laughs> history of their business um, why would you give to them like 50 60 80 pounds yeah because some are asking for quite a lot of money quite a lot yeah. of money when uh, actually you can invest that money on your canvases yeah. on other materials so i would probably say Yes to competition, Cheaper but job. find the right channels, find the right competition to yeah. apply for. Apart the established one like National Open Art or Royal yeah. Academy, you know that you pay uh, a fee. But um, there are other names in London that if you ask around as yeah. well, uh, the artists know that it's quite worth it to apply. Yes, it's yes. quite worth it to apply. Yeah. But I would say maybe five, six in a year. Uh, I don't think there are more than five or six that are worth that uh, worth yeah, yeah. yeah. And first, ethically, I don't yeah. find that it's a good thing to pay yeah. because we are artists and we are investing a lot of money. Like uh, I'm investing like a lot of friends in the studio. I've got the studio, I've got the materials, mm. I pay taxes. Yeah. There, there's a lot of things. So um, yeah. if you really do your work, in a very good way, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will come. Don't worry, yeah. it will come. Yeah. Do we really need to create yeah, this elite? Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm more for, uh, you've got the skills, we're gonna share yes. with everyone. Yeah. In, or if you want to have exposure, okay, but in a genuine, and you know, in a genuine yeah. way. Yeah. I want to ask you too about your residency because you've done that. Yeah, my one of the most amazing experiences I had in my life. Uh, um, I was um, living for three months with the uh, other twenty artists, which I didn't know. It was all paid, <coughs> accommodation, uh, um, the the tutors, uh, the classes, wow. everything, and um, we were learning about metals and uh, how to create the metal sculptures. Yeah. 
and it was incredible. So I still have to say that because of this experience, I can't wait to to create something big. <laughs> yeah. So in the future, we might yes. see some big sculptures yes. from coming. Definitely, yeah. or installation. Definitely. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I really yes. would love to work uh, with, uh, collaborate with the contemporary dancers. Um, as I said before, my work is about mm -hmm. energy and mm -hmm. energy movement. Mm -hmm. So um, in my work, there's a lot of um, quantum physics as well. So <laughs> it's about atoms that are moving yes, in the space. Yes. Um, there are a couple of names in the contemporary art world that I really like, actually. Oh. So I'm really tempted to write a, a letter yeah, and see not? the reaction. Uh, so Wayne McGregor, if yeah. you are watching <laughs> Anusha, please, um, I'm going to send you a letter soon. Yes, I'm, I'm really passionate about his work because he worked with electronic music oh, and right. sound and usually I listen to electronic music with yeah. my work because I need to focus, concentrate and uh, I feel that I go in a kind of uh, different frequency. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, my advice is uh, going on this platform called yeah. Res Heart and browse all the residents available that they have mm. and get in touch with them. It's good for you to try to challenge yourself because if you can pay everything, come on. Yeah. Where and how do you sell your work? I actually work uh, with galleries, uh, art consultants and uh, online galleries. Uh, I try to don't work with much people. Uh, I'm renting also some painting <laughs> as oh, well. Okay. And uh, which honestly... Uh, to, to like offices and things like that? Big or? company that they have uh, amazing big spaces yes. and uh, they need uh, huge work. Yes, yeah. And how long would that normally be? Sometimes three months, sometimes six months. One of them, actually, I contacted them and they sent my portfolio and they came back to me straight away with the contract. <laughs> no way! Yeah, and they say, we love your work, we want to work with you, yeah. let's do it. And they say, okay, brilliant. But in your eyes, what is it that makes a great artist? Ooh! <laughs> um, believe in what you do, uh, accept yourself for what you are, and uh, don't accept uh, compromises too yeah. much. I know that we all have to compromise with something in mm. our life, but please don't compromise too much. Too much yeah. um, believe in what you do mm. every second and uh, don't let yourself, uh, the others uh, uh, put you down and, yeah. as well. Mm. Uh, absolutely so because it's hard because it's hard and I think what makes the difference being a great artist like being humble yeah. and um, accept yourself for what you are and um, keep keep working and express yourself until the end find out if you are an artist <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you're not an artist, you can uh, be okay. You can take art as a hobby. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, how do you art... know that you are an artist? Like... I think it's a call. I have to be honest yeah. with you. I think it's a call. Mm. It's, it's a call because uh, you find yourself that uh, you you will struggle with any other job. And this this feeling of never been satisfied. Yeah. Never. Even you like a lot of things, you you put all your effort, people recognize you for what you do and they say, oh, would you like to be the coordinator? Would you like to be the manager? And you find yourself miserable. And yeah. you say, what's wrong yeah. with me? How yeah. is it possible? Yeah. Maybe they, you know, they yeah. offer me a huge amount yeah. of money. Yeah. And, you know, you're keeping thinking, thinking, thinking and visualizing yourself doing what you're doing. Okay, take the risk. <laughs> find the studio space. <laughs> Um, it's not find the studio, find any any space yeah, that, yeah. and get yourself organized because uh, you might have a daughter or yeah. two or three children yeah. or um, yes, yeah, so you, you need to be really active. Yeah. So you well, can't... you need to take it professionally. Yes. I think what you're saying, like you have to have a schedule. You have in the to list get is in every be day. Be yeah. <laughs> Yes, and uh, yeah, share, listen to advice, talk to people, but most of that challenge yourself. Mm. One of my favorite artists, which I'm not, I'm not saying her name. Okay. <laughs> I remember that uh, once she was talking and uh, she said that um, usually one of really good exercise is like when you do uh, a project, so you have uh, ideas, just have always like two bins, one on your right and one on your left. Mm. 
the ideas that you don't like put on your left bin, the ideas that you like put on your right bin. So you will be surprised that the ideas of your left bin, actually, that would be the amazing idea. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on thank to you. the Atho Show. <laughs> and for everybody watching, remember, be different, be you. Until next time. Bye. Bye bye. Did you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. We have to, we can't see you. You, you have to come here. Up.